make him president now. Oh my God! I'd, <laughs> I'd, I'd rather have Ted Nugent than Trump, Trump or Biden. Holy shit, Republican Party! It's time to fucking do it. I'd love to have the Nuge as the president. Fucking kick Trump out of this shit and put Nuge in. He'll win in a second. I guarantee he's gonna. He would win it. They'd say, give him a chance. Ted Nugent is a very smart man. Yeah, he, there's no doubt. And an amazing artist. He's a very brilliant guy. He would be a good president, I think. I think he would be. He's but I also him. think Jesse Ventura would be a great president. Too. Oh, shit, though. Ted Ted might support a, a total abortion ban. He might, because he's really Christian. And he's very Christian. And most of them are like that. So. But, but see... Ted Ventura, would, Ted, Ventura would defend every right to abortion. Yeah, he's a libertarian in his heart. Yeah, and he's an atheist. Okay, he don't give a fuck. A secular country should be secular. No. And religion shouldn't uh, influence it. No. And I prefer to live in a secular country than a religious country because I don't want any motherfucker to control what I believe. Yeah, and what your son can be. Yeah, exactly. That's it. You you have you can you get you have to give no quarter. Free Joe Exotic? Hell yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, yes. I agree with you. I I listen. I love that man. I think he is a who exotic boy. I think I think what they did to him was bullshit. He was just talking shit on the internet. I don't think he had a hit on Carol Baskin, but uh, uh, I talk. I've talked to Carol Baskin before. Sweet lady. She's a nice lady, very sweet Christian. But I also think Joe is a smart ass. Yeah, he's a jackass. He is a jackass. Okay, and there's some things he did that was horrible. Not um, yeah. I don't blame him for his husband. Uh, who killed himself. I don't blame him for that. No. Uh, I think he's got an interest in style. Uh, I like hearing him talk. Yeah, his voice is nuts. I do. Yeah. He's entertaining. Um, he's entertaining, no doubt. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't hate any of these people from Tiger Joe. You know who Joe Exotic reminds me of? Huh. The, the 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 most charismatic amazing man on the planet from galaxy hitchhiker's guide the guy that has the faith that oh sam rockwell's character yeah sam rockwell's character yeah he reminds me of him so much like if you've never seen hitchhiker's guide uh, to the galaxy or read it please do i was missing out douglas adams is a genius of a writer. It's very Gonzo-like, right? Right in. And, um, I very much, I think even though Michael Crichton is my favorite writer, I love his books. I very much appreciate, uh, uh, Gonzo-like right in. It's very nice to read. It's very nice to read. And unteachable. Yeah, it's unteachable. You have to have a flair in order to do Gonzo right in. I, I know my writing is very Gonzo-like. I say you have to have at least a 180 IQ to write Gonzo. My writing is Gonzo-like when I write. I haven't seen anything you've written ever, so... I've, I've written so many fucking papers for college. Yeah. Um, I always got A's on my reports because, you know, I think out of the box. Have you ever written poetry? Yeah, I actually am... Um, there's a book, I don't know what it is, but I'm actually in a, a public, I'm published, my poetry is published in a book that uh, the the about. National Archive has. I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking my about? My buddy Keith got that too. He, he did was, that too? He was a poet. Yeah, I, I, I didn't, I just, they put it out on the internet and I was like, what the hell? Let me write this poem. Wrote it in like two minutes. This dark fucking emo poem. Oh, uh, emo poetry. They, they chose my poetry to be put in this book. And I was holy like, shit. holy shit. That's awesome. Yeah, that's really fucking cool. That's awesome. 
I don't know what the book is. I don't remember it. This happened 18 years ago? Yeah. It's a National Archive poetry book. I think it's from 2004 okay. when I wrote it. I know I wasn't a mom then. I know I was, I, I, but I was with Doug when I wrote it on this shitty fucking computer. Mm -hmm. What's the poem called? I don't remember. Like I said, I wrote it in two minutes and like put it into this, like, and emailed it to the National Archives and it was put in a book. Cool. But it was just this stupid little poem I wrote in two minutes. That's cool, dude. Yeah. That's really neat. Ugh. Oh, God. Tomorrow's gonna be freaking 63 and rainy. Ugh. Yeah, I know. At least it ain't 48. Ugh. That sucks. I would love to read it. Me too. Oh. But um, uh, unfortunately, I don't remember any of this stuff. That was a lot ago. And it was just this uh, poem I wrote in two minutes, and I didn't think I would even be chosen. I just did it just to do it. Because I significantly love poetry. What are my plans for tomorrow? Sports. Oh, uh, I don't know. God, I, I haven't eaten anything today. I eat nothing. I scarfed down almost my entire bag of sun chips. I wish I had a sub to tell you the truth. I'm going to have to do that. Um, I should do that now. Right. No, you don't have to. No, I sh they're going to probably close soon. It's 842. Oh, shit. It is closed. No, it's not closed, but it's very close to closing. Okay. I, I could go I could go to Giant. Hi Persnix. I I see you. Hi Dion. Hi Kyla. I am not going to that one place. Nope. I'm banning myself from that place for now. Yeah. Because I'm not strong enough. I know it. I'm not. I'm not strong enough. I, I I'm gonna wanna do that. And I'm not going to. So I only I gotta go to Giant to get you some. God, it's such a disease. Yeah, that's correct. I'm so sorry you have to go through that. Oh, no, it's it is what it is. It's not your fault. I don't want to. I don't want to force you in a situation that you're gonna be uncomfortable in. I I'm not gonna go there. I'm t I t why, t I'm being very honest with you. I know I'm not strong enough. So I'm not going there. Okay. All right. I I love you so much. I just I don't. I love you too. I don't want to see you fall. What? I'm not allowing myself to fall. I I don't feel like doing that either. At all. Oh. I'm so sorry, baby. Not fun. No, it's not fun. Addiction sucks. Yeah, it does. And you had your taste, and it's just, oh. I understand the cycle, though. Yep, that's why I'm not going. My whole life, I was around alcoholics, dude. I know. I know it's a vicious cycle, and I'm so sorry you have to go through that, baby. Well, it is what it is, honey. It's I got to get stronger again before I can go in that place. Because for sure. No, I understand. I got to get stronger first. I look lovely. Thank you. Hi, Ella. You're How's the healthy. diet going? Um, I'm, I'm doing very well. I haven't had anything, uh, that was, that's been like sweet for like, Two and a half weeks now. I, I'm going. I'm just going to go to Pure Deal. Okay. All right. It's closer, and I know it's open for you. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. 
You want the stomach surgery? Yeah, I I have to have it. I have to get this weight off me. It's hard to get this weight off me because I have a vitamin deficiency, which causes water retention. But my diet has been very good, actually. I've been doing very good at restraining myself from eating sweets or anything that's... um unhealthy I've been eating mostly uh, salads and sandwiches um, and I, I feel better eating that way than um, eating all the unhealthy food I just uh, I realize that most of that shit is poison so it's like, what do you do? What do you do when you're sick? It is what it is. I have, I, I don't want to have the surgery, really, because I don't, I don't want to go through another surgery, because um, last time I had a surgery, it was my tubal ligation, and I experienced. They had me on morphine, but um, morphine doesn't really work in my body that much. Like, as, as a painkiller, I get loopy. Um, I get a little silly on morphine, but I can feel the pain still. It doesn't help with it, and... They have to give you morphine after surgery. So it's like, I don't want to go through that, especially when it's a stomach thing. And uh, <laughs> messing with your stomach is probably one of the most painful things. Um, do I like pickles? I love pickles. Pickles are delicious. Um, uh, what, are those, what are those pickles? Those The ones that come in the bags, the like, what is it, so good or something pickles, they're, oh my god, those are heavenly, those pickles, um, they're really good in a tuna salad, by the way, um, they also come in green beans and carrots and other vegetables that are pickled, and they're so good, pickled vegetables are the best, in my opinion, and a lot of people hate pickled vegetables, because it's got that vinegary taste, but I love vinegar. I'm Italian. I have to love vinegar. It's called food stamps, moron. God. Go be critical somewhere else. I don't need to fucking talk to you or be held accountable to you. Because you gotta make shit up. Make your stupid lies up. Fine. Hi, Neo Cat. How are you, baby girl? Queen Teratoma. Hmm. Terra means earth. What does Toma mean? Um, trying to know your entomology of your name. It's interesting name you have. Bad wolf power. <laughs> Bad wolf power. <gasps> Are you a Doctor Who fan? Bad wolf. Um, those who know, know. God, my phone keeps buzzing, and I don't know why. It's driving me fucking crazy. Bad wolf. Bad wolf was something. that rose 
used to communicate with the doctor. It's trippy. I love Doctor Who. I want to see the new Doctor Who. I haven't even seen the newer Doctor Who's with the female. I haven't seen that. I'd like to know how a female does the Doctor, to tell you the truth. I just haven't done it. Because I, I don't own freaking... I, I don't have a subscription to HBO Max. And I'm really depressed over that. Because I'd like to catch up on my Doctor Who lore. But I, I don't have HBO Max. Maybe someday the Lord will bless me with such a thing. But, uh, not today. Um, gosh. You guys are quiet in here, man. This is why I miss my ween man. Every time Jason goes, the conversation goes dry. Am I... <laughs> Do you guys watch Netflix? I, I... Yeah, I, I watch Netflix when I have it. I haven't in a long time. Watch Netflix. Um, I love their shows. Netflix has a lot of good shows. Um, it's just been a while since I've seen Netflix. Netflix killed Blockbuster, by the way. <laughs> Majin Jin Beans. Majin Boo. Boo! Eats everything. And then he transforms and he starts killing everything. And Goku has a lot of problems because he's like bubblegum and he stretches and does all these weird transformations and stuff. <laughs> But see, I enjoy shows and movies and anime and cartoons. I enjoy those things. I like them. You can call me yuppie. Am I still gaming? Y yeah, I like for like three days in a row. I was like on this Animal Crossing kick and doing my island up. Um. Doing my own style to my island. There's a lot of spots where I'm just like, wow. This is really pretty. But yeah. My favorite anime. That would be Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop is my favorite anime. Um, but that doesn't mean I don't enjoy the other animes. Like, I've watched Helsing. Uh, Kakaider. Uh, just Cyborg 009, you remember that one? <laughs> I've been playing Lego Jurassic Park. How is that? I love the Lego games. They're always so fun. Like Lego Star Wars, they're so fun to play. Like I used to play Lego Star Wars with my brothers all the time. <laughs> It's fun. But what is it like the first Jurassic Park? What what theme are they doing with the Jurassic Park? Are they going with the Jurassic World? Or is it Jurassic Park? Jurassic Park. My fiance loved Animal Crossing too. You guys are a lot alike in that aspect. I love Animal Crossing. I love Stardew. I like... I like cozy games. Um, I don't like games with a lot of violence. I like games that, like, I like the Stardew. I like, I like Animal Crossing. Wait, let me go first. Sorry, my brain is like, you see what I mean? Gabapentin and Loopy. Uh, I enjoy Animal Crossing because of the design aspects. I love interior design. Always had. When I was a little girl, I, I, I always um, made interior design pictures, like make a room and do interior design with that. And not only that, I, I used to design clothes. Um, it's the first four movies. 
Love the Lego. <laughs> Love the Lego games. Batman Villains is my favorite. <gasps> Dude. Yes. You're playing Animal Crossing now, listening to you guys. Awesome. Did you say you like cozy games? Yes. I started playing this home improvement game. You like paint and decorate. The show? That's so awesome. It's free on Game Pass. Dude, that's awesome. I, I love me some Tim Allen. Um, I've read I've read two of his books. And I have to say, Tim Allen is a really good writer. He's a really good writer, and um, he actually has a book on quantum physics, and it's really good read. He his first book was his biography, talked a lot about his time in jail when he was a cocaine dealer. Um, and and the second book he wrote was about quantum physics and I enjoy the quantum physics book a lot more than I did the, uh, 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 biography. Um, I, I used to read so many books. Um, I, I don't read as much as I used to, but I feel like I want to. Like, I really want... Maybe tomorrow. You know what? I'm doing it. Tomorrow? I didn't know he wrote books. What was the guy's name that hid behind the face in the show? Oh, uh... Wilson. I think he... Pa Hi, Christina. I think he passed of cancer. I know he passed, but I think it was cancer. He was a cool character, Wilson. I like he always had wisdom. And I I liked that part of home improvement is Tim would fuck up and and go to Wilson and Wilson would give him incredible advice. It was good. Back in the day. <laughs> How are you beautiful? How's the wife? I hope you guys are doing wonderful. You should get a library card. You can check out movies, games. You can check out games now? Computers, etc. Not just books. Boy, if my husband knew that, he'd be excited. That'd be awesome to do. I also want to get... I also want to use my, um... The tablet I have. The, um... The Amazon Fire and connect... I think it's... It's, it's some kind of thing. I think it's Overdrive. And you can connect to libraries... Um, through your library card and get ebooks. She's been sick. Dialysis is really hard on her. Phil. Get some help, man. I ain't doing anything. You, you claim I'm a drug addict, but have you? I've been on this place for hours. Have you seen me do any drugs? You seen me smoke cigarettes? Know who they are, people. Blah, 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 blah. Bill, grow up. You can get seeds at the library? Well, we have to uh, check our ABT there. Oh, nothing, huh? No, I don't think so. 
I'm not sure. Is there an angel out there that could send us some food for today? That's okay. We'll be, we'll, we'll manage. It's almost Friday. Yeah. Dude, do you know you can get seeds at the library? Seeds? For mean? gardening. No. You can check out computers, laptops, games. Wow. Yeah, dude. You can rent systems? Like, what? Com Video game systems? I don't know, man. We gotta <laughs> check. We gotta go to the library. Rent a PS4. And check it out. <laughs> Heirloom seeds. Oh, those are the best. I'd love to grow me some heirloom tomatoes. Yeah. Ooh. All I need is soil and um, some miracle grow. I'm really good at growing tomatoes. <laughs> I had this, this one tomato plant. Where I put it in this plastic container and, and filled it with the soil and and just fed it miracle grow. This this thing, this plant would not die. Even after its season, it still would not die. It, I it was like just kept growing tomatoes. It was like these little cherry tomatoes. I just got tomatoes, collards, and corn. Awesome. You're going to have to have just some garden salsa chips, I guess, man. Dude, I'll be fine. That's all you're, you know. Tomatoes do terrible in Minneapolis the last few years. I normally can grow anything. They like the acid or something. Interesting. So weather is crazy, period. It's like seasons have stopped existing and we don't know what's going to happen the next day. It's weird. The weather is so weird. I've never experienced anything like this with the weather. I don't know what's going on. Something's going on. And the government ain't telling us. No yeah, they're pieces of shit. And they always will be a piece of shit. Wow, it's exactly two weeks and we're already out. Uh, look, I need to check it, though. I don't think we're out. Sandwiches. Oh, okay. And, like hard-boiled eggs. Sorry, guys. So, okay. I mean... We got $38 in food stamps. We'll be okay. Yeah. Okay. God always provides. Yeah. He always will provide. I trust in him. Me too. Whenever, we, whenever we're out of something, God always finds a way how to provide. And I think that's why we're going through this poverty, to put all our faith in him. Yeah. Weather is crazy here, too. We had two tornadoes here Thursday. Just got power back after five days. Oh, my God. Ugh. Good thing Pennsylvania isn't known for tornadoes. Luckily. Yeah. Luckily. I've been in tornadoes before. Those are scary. I bet. Yeah, they're scary. Really Twister, scary. Twister's bad enough, so. Yeah, there's been plenty of times where I've been in the basement fucking like, is this the end lord? There you go. I survived hurricanes, though. I've survived hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes. To tell you the truth, I don't even know why I'm alive other than being a witness. 
I shouldn't be alive. God won't allow me to die, though. There's that. Mm -mm. No, I've seen that firsthand. <laughs> mm -hmm. You saw a miracle right before your eyes. Yep. No doubt. Oh, God bless you. Thank you. Um, where was I going? Other than praising Jesus, always. Mm -hmm. Got it. I'm always going to praise Jesus. I don't care what anyone thinks of me anymore because that's Good. not my faith. You can call me a devil worshiper all you want. I'll just continue saying that Satan is a scumbag, a piece of shit. Well. And um, he's an archetype. I don't understand why people worship this archetype when he literally wants to destroy mankind. Yeah. Unless they want to destroy mankind too, but usually they don't say that. They value their lives. And they're humanists. Never forget that freight train sound. No. Or the or the sky being like this weird orange color and you're seeing the like clouds swirl right before it cones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're not a devil worshiper, that's ridiculous. Yeah, mm -hmm. but that's what these people try to push. Yeah, some of them. Like they try to push that I'm some kind of scammer. What am I scamming exactly? Uh. Am I providing you with a product? Or or not providing you with a product that you bought? No. <laughs> Weirdness. It really is. Really bizarre. Shit. Do you believe hell is a real place? Oh yeah. So oh yeah. I'm addicted to drugs, really? What am I addicted to? Oh, Jesus I wanna know their answer. What oh, what am I addicted to? I only use family. They need the definition of scam explained. I know, right? Yeah. I, I don't see myself providing a product to people and no. then not giving it to them. Never do That's that. a scam. Yeah. That's what a scam is. Asking for help isn't scamming. Exactly. Thank you. Exactly. See, they're not even answering me what I'm addicted to. <laughs> I'm done. Can you talk to these fine folks? I have to pee again. How many times have I peed? I don't have a clue, but it's ridiculous. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Hi. Mwah. You're my girl. I love you. I love you too. Oh, Lord Jesus. Let people spend their money how they want. Well, yeah, it's it's a really weird parasocial thing that people do. The ones that aren't legit, you know. What's up with the haters tonight? It's because we're on extensively. So they're going to have a, a an orgasm fest to uh, harass mentally ill people. Mind your business like, damn, yeah, hella. Exactly. It's, it's fucking dumb, number one. The real people, though, never give us that shit. They're like, you, well, you, I'm just giving you money. Use it. Do what you want with it. Hope you and Shani are doing okay. Ignore and block the haters. Yeah, Sugar Babies 23. Oh, my God. It's a Big Ed girl. Sugar Babies. Yes, Big Ed. No, they probably don't even know Big Ed. I'm just saying. God bless you. A lot you. of people know who Big Ed is. Thanks for the hearts. It's just to be mean, Jason. Ignore them. Yeah, I agree, uh, Dr. Maestro. 
But but it, I I that's what I do. If I see bullshit, I ignore it. Like she said the name and she said what they said, and I wouldn't do that. I would just block them. <laughs> Sorry, I was amusing myself. That's fine. I but I I don't give them any. I my way to not give quarters. I just I <laughs> pretend you don't exist at this point. It's really fucking dumb at this point. Like, what do you want? I, 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 I'm replacing uh, your your uh, definition of what existence is with my own. I substitute my reality for my own, <laughs> and you can't do anything to stop that. I love that movie. To tell you the truth, it's a good movie. That's an awesome movie. I don't remember the name of it, even. <laughs> but Avis, Adam Savage took it and ran with it. Ooh, this looks pretty with my socks. Yeah, you wore them together before. It's very hot. It is. Uh, you don't. You just don't get it. You keep it copacetic. That song is really, really catchy. I think it's a newer song by a band that I don't know. But man, that's some catchy shit. If any of you guys have a metal station, you listen to your metal station. It's probably on there. I don't know who it is. But, man, that's a catchy-ass fucking song. That one Japanese girl, what was her name? I don't know. She's an awesome rapper, though. Yeah. You want back? Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're a drug addict. Of what? Of what? You're just assuming I am. <laughs> just because you think I am doesn't mean I am. What am I addicted to? They never answer, though. No. They just blatantly say, she's a scammer, she's a drug user. <laughs> okay. Go in a go, water the garden. Ooh. Water your babies. Garden. Oh my god. I'm out of breath. You may be. <sighs> There's a Japanese metal band I like called Melt Banana. No, that's not what. It's like Akiyama or something like that. Mm. They were good though. Oh, she. When I find who it is, what band it is, I'll I'll let you guys know. But yeah. she's she's the shit. She's like, look up the song "Bad Bitch." That's a good one. Hmm. Good voice. Oh my god, those girls are so fucking talented. Yeah, very good voice. Yeah. Yeah. Girl Japanese rappers are way better than the guy rappers. Oh, unlistenable dog shit. Yeah. That stuff's horrible. The females are awesome. Yeah, uh, yes. They got some good fucking crazy ass voices and flow. Yeah, I, to see, that's what's so good about the internet uh -huh. is you can discover artists from all over the world. Absolutely. And yeah, you may not speak the language, but you can get their drift. Hi, Lizzie. God bless you, Lizzie. L I S S Y, Lizzie. I planted pineapple white strawberries. Oh, so sexy. Janie, please have your heart checked next time you see your doctor. Yeah. All your EKGs have always been good. Please. Kidneys, God. too. Yeah. Like, there is something wrong with my heart, though. This is not normal. It might be your lungs. It might my be my lungs. Lung my dad did die li lung cancer, and after I gave birth, they found oh. polyps in it, and I never got it followed up. Oh, boy. I like my mom so much. I am. I never took care of myself. I was too busy taking care of my sons. I know. And life, and trying to survive. I know. And I just, I felt like I wasn't worthy enough to take care of myself. 
I worry about myself. I understand. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. Mm. But, yeah, there's something wrong with me, and I don't know what it is, and neither do the doctors. They just know there's something wrong. And everything is just a waiting game on getting these tests, tests done. Fucking hate inflation. Like, oh my yeah, god, I just wish you could go to the doctor and they do all the fucking necessary tests mm -hmm. that's needed at the doctor instead of you going to this place and this place and this place and this place and this place. You get that at Lake Geisinger in Danville. Like, I need to go back and rehab. I know that. I haven't done anything about it. I just haven't been feeling to that point. I've been feeling really awful, and I don't want to make an appointment just to cancel it because I feel like ass. So, I have to do that. I'm waiting on my mammogram. I don't know how long that's going to take. Um... I, I ha, what was, that? was there another test? No, I did all the other tests. Mm -hmm. It's just the mammogram and the rehab. Right, yeah. no. I, I forgot the dietician oh, for my weight loss surgery. Active, yeah. yeah, there's that too. Oh my God. There's something else. I thought there was four. There was something else. But I don't remember it. Well, you got your blood done. I got my blood done. I got my x-rays done. Mm -hmm. You need your mammogram. In rehab. Rehab. Uh, and the dietitian. Yeah. Okay, there's three. Yeah, three. I just wish it could be done in one oh. place. Orthopedics. Oh, yeah, my orthopedics. That's I got to go to the orthopedic surgeon so they can fucking mm -hmm. figure out what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Yeah, that's the one. Thank you, Lizzie. I'm having more problems with my right leg after I tore the hip. Oh, my God, I'm so mm. sorry. Have I had a sleep study no but i know i need to have a sleep study for sleep apnea I, and i know i have sleep apnea i always have i've had my adenoids and tonsils removed and i still stop breathing in my sleep and i always have i remember my mom and dad when i was a baby or very little like five or six they always came in my room and shaked me Awake because I've stopped breathing wow. in my sleep. You got to sleep apnea. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. You 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 see me stop breathing yeah. in my sleep too. You usually wake yourself up that way. Yeah. Thank you, Lizzie. <laughs> Mammogram equals panini press. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. I had my first mammogram this year. It wasn't that bad. No. Uh, the problem... Here's the thing. Last time I got my mammogram, it was so awful. I was in my robe. I don't know why those plate. I do know. The, pl the mammogram places smell like fucking breast milk. <laughs> it's just the smell of boobs everywhere. Um... <laughs> Those who know how breast milk smells in the room knows. Cold Stone Creamery. Oh, it's just, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's cold, you, you said this place smelled like Cold Stone Creamery. You smelled their milk. It smelled oh. good. But. It's like a drug. Just sniff it in. Mm. Females. Yum. But yeah, it wasn't, <laughs> it, it was uncomfortable. It wasn't that bad, but. The problem with it is, is in the middle of it, I had this severe heat flash and went into a panic. Mm. <laughs> I don't. I, I had a panic attack slash heat flash in the middle of my mammogram. Oh my God, I know, <laughs> girl. 
I know. I'm sorry. You can't get any break. No. Not any. No. It's so awful. And I gotta have another mammogram because of this fucking huge, horrible lump. You're my baby. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm dying. See, you know what I mean. That breast milk smell. Mm. See, you hear him? He's like, oh. Yeah. Breast milk smells good, doesn't it? You better believe it. I remember after William, I had to have a DNC because part of my placenta was in the top region of my uterus. Oh. And they had to suck it out, and I was getting a serious infection. Oh. I thought I was going to die. Bad. After William. Except to see me. And my sister came because she was going to look after the baby. She came in the room. I had my breast pumps on. Mm -hmm. And she was like, why does this room smell like cold stuff? There's a smell. It goes all through the air. It's she pleasant. She said that. Exactly. It, that's. And Manning's here. Yeah. The local farm is Manning Farm, and that it smells exactly like that when you walk in the door. I've always had breathing problems. My dad tried to get my tonsils taken, but I say it was a, for nefarious reasons. But I still snore and stop breathing when I sleep. Oh, no, Lizzie. I'm sorry. <sighs> you know, even though I went through the surgery of getting my tonsils and adenoids removed, and it was painful as hell. I don't regret having that surgery at 10. Because I, I literally had like that much space in my, in my throat area yeah. from my tonsils. Because they were always so big and swollen. They were oversized. Right. And it just limited my breathing. Yeah. And I also had, I've always had sleep apnea. So... I don't regret it. It hurt like hell, but I don't regret it. My brother had his tonsils removed, too. It's just something that happens in our family. My dad had his tonsils removed. Huh. Yeah. We get oversized tonsils in my family. Where we where our breathing is limited. Wow. But you get to eat pudding and jello and ice cream and shit like that. Mm. That's fun. <laughs> That was fun for a 10-year-old. Definitely. Yeah, dude. Yeah, me oh, then they needed to go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't like getting surgery. I don't. Every time I get surgery, the last thing I think before going under is... Boy, I hope I come out of this. Mm. <laughs> please, Lord, please don't let give me that weird thing that sometimes anesthesia does where you're completely aware of everything and the oh. pain, but you're completely paralyzed. I really don't want to go through that. But people have gone through that, and that's horrible. Imagine going through surgery. You're paralyzed. You're awake. But your eyes are closed. They think you're... Under. Under. And you're feeling your guts. Oof. No. Ah. No way. Mm -mm. That's nightmare shit. Oh my god. It has, like it's like shit. hell. Yeah. Like shit in a cell. Fuck that. Oh my god. I feel so bad for those people who have, a, have experienced that. That, like, anesthesia paralysis thing. Oh, my God. You've heard of that before. Yeah, I have. Yeah, it's awful. Frightening as shit. Same laugh out loud. Am I going to wake up? And, oh, my God, that's an Alfred Hitchcock story, I think. Is it? Huh. It's happened to people. This is the end, my friends. I heard, I've heard This is the end. Of people that have gone through that. <laughs> Medicine's not 100%.
No. I wish it was. Man, if you could take the magic wand and go poof and you're fine. What's going on? Such a UFO sound I just heard. Did you? There's always... Oh, it's that, isn't it? Oh, you were looking at the computer? It's. I think it's the uh, computer making the noise. That's some serious paranoia you're experiencing, sir. It, sound, no, it sounded totally like it was outside. But it's, it's the computer, I think. Okay. My best friend of 46 years went through that? Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. You've been raped by an incubus? I'm so sorry. Horrible. They're nasty little demons. The incubuses and the succubuses? Nasty little demons. <laughs> no, I believe you. I have succubus follow me. I won't even say her name. I hate her. I'm so sorry, Lizzie. That's a horrible thing to go through. God. Like Rosemary's baby or something. That was a horrifying scene in Rosemary's Baby when the demon was impregnating her. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. And and to know that Roman Polanski is a pedo and his wife went through what she went through. God, he had the most beautiful woman in Hollywood. Sharon Tate was gorgeous. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. What a piece of shit. Anyway. Sacrificed her. Yeah, all of them are pieces of shit. Fucking sacrificed her. <laughs> and her little baby. Demonic cords of god shit. Jeez. That's some weird shit, Lizzie. I'm sorry you have to go through that. Try next time you you go through something like that, try to scream out Jesus Christ. Absolutely. Because he'll take that away. Like always works. Jesus the name of Jesus. I know I know it's when you're sleeping, but I had to do I've been doing it for years, is calling out Jesus. Jason's even seen it when I'm sleeping. You say it in your sleep. Yeah, he, he see he sees me calling on Jesus in my sleep. Because I get attacked by demons too in my sleep. Thank you, Lizzie. Show me a beautiful woman and I'll show a man that'll cheat. Look at Beyonce and Jay Z. Oh my god. Jay Z is on a whole nother level. Apparently. And he's the next to go. He's the next to be exposed. Uh, I don't know what Beyonce's fans are going to do when they find out what Beyonce has done and helped with the sex trafficking. And, and there's rumors that she murdered someone. A woman that Jay Z cheated with? There's rumors on that, man. That's messed. Yeah. Pray. You pray every day. Bless your heart. Yeah, yeah a prayer before bed for Jesus to protect you is always a good one. Yep. Um, if you're being attacked by g demons, um, look up William Schneblin. Yep. He's a very good um, uh, deliverance minister. 
spiritual warfare guy. Yeah. yeah, he taught me spiritual warfare. I had to do it last night. Because of Jason. I had to do spiritual warfare last night. I didn't I didn't hurt Jason in any way. Okay? I just had to expunge certain spirits. And I always do. I don't like them. I don't like evil. I really don't. I despise evil. I despise suffering. I'll always despise suffering. For myself and for others. And it's so sad what people do to each other. <laughs> That's why I've been quiet. I've been so... frustrated over this world and the powers in it. I don't want to go through it anymore. I'm sick of suffering. I'm sick of it. I don't, like, you're human and you're capable of good and evil and you choose evil instead of good. When good is way more better than evil. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. You know? Because literally, I have thousands of pe people who push me to be a better person by being nasty to me. I don't want to be like them. I don't want to be like abusive people. I've had so much therapy because of abuse. And then to accuse me of being an abuser when I despise it, even the times I, I myself has been abusive toward others. Everyone has. None of us are perfect. We all lashed out. We've all been abusive to our fellow man. Which is why we should forgive each other of it and stop the nonsense. Break the cycle. Someone's got to stand up and do it. I surrender completely. I don't want to fight anyone. The red hat for sacrifice, that's coming up. That's a sign of his coming. Um, I can't wait for him to come. I've always felt my whole life that he would come in my lifetime. Mm. My whole life. I remember I was four and my dad taught me about Jesus Christ coming back. My dad essentially gave me that first taste of faith. And yeah, I, I straight away, I said I was an atheist. And what I, I learned from that is the majority of people who say they're atheists are lying to themselves. Because when bad shit happens, they always pray. They're lying to themselves. They know there's a God. Because when bad shit happens, they pray. <laughs> That's a faith of a mustard seed. 
<laughs> you're an atheist and you're praying to my God who you say is evil to what save you from your suffering. What is here? What? Like you, for the people that like mock God. Yeah. Openly, like Bill Maher. Like what do you think? He admitted to himself that he prayed to God. I know. But I'm saying you mock the creator. Yeah. Why do you think He's going to listen to one word that comes from your mouth. He will. He will listen and he, he will. will He will do as you pray because he wants to give you that faith that he now, is he real. No, obligation. no. It's stupid to think that he does. No. I, that's all I'm saying. It's, a, it's, it's such a stupid thing to say. Your atheists say that to you. Yeah. It's really stupid. He has no obligation to you. You, you are dust. Uh. Love you too, Lizzie. God bless you. Fre oh my God, is that that's Mar Marion? Night, you know, Christina. I love that guy, man. No atheists in foxholes, exactly. Never. Exactly, they're all bending their knee, praying to God. Please don't let me die, Lord. Thank God, I'm comfortable. They go to the Christian guy. Can you please pray for me, man? Ah. <laughs> Absolutely. Why don't you get saved? Do now? you know how many times I've had an atheist come to me and ask me to pray for them? Like Are you sure you're an atheist? Be honest with yourself. For God's sakes. You're asking a Christian to pray for you. Obviously, you think that Christians have more power than you. Why is that? Why are you coming to my God, coming to me for me to intercession you to the Lord when you could do it yourself? You don't need me to intercession. You could do it yourself. Bend a knee. Come to him with all your heart and soul and strength and might. Dude, you don't need someone in the middle to talk to God. He's there all the time to talk to you. You just have to listen. And it's not that hard to listen to him. This shit's going to build my core muscles so good. Jason's doing yoga. This shit works, dude. Thank you, Lizzie. Feel it. Or like Chris Roxy thinks he should get out of jail to spread the word of God. I'm um, sorry, you killed your family. No. No. If you can't do the time, don't do the crime. You have to serve that justice of society. If you kill your family, you get a life sentence. And you stay in jail. Preach the word to the inmates, dude. The world don't need to listen to you. That's how I feel. Maybe God made you kill your family so you could preach to inmates. Or maybe, maybe you killed your family and you're using God as an excuse for your get out of jail free card. And it ain't gonna work in this justice system. You're gonna pay for your crimes. Unless you're Trump. Oh. Well, unless you're Trump, you, you can say whatever you want about the judge, and the judge will lick your fucking balls and you get no consequences. <sighs> when us regular people, we do something out of hand, like just. <sighs> In yeah. front of the judge, and you're straight to jail for contempt. Oh my God. <laughs> you ever been in front of a judge before? You can't do shit. Not even against somebody that's openly victimizing you. Yeah, exactly. And you try to speak about it, you speak on the matter. You do not speak. Excuse me? Isn't this America? 
what done to me. Yeah. Don't speak. Sir. I have walked out and said America's a fucking joke. They got that on record. Exactly. That's on court record. I said America. No, there is a, a two tier system, and Trump has proven that there's a two tier system. Yeah. They'll kiss and lick the ass of a out of from billionaires and not give a shit about us common folk. We get punished by the justice system, while someone who's rich can abuse the justice system and get off with a slap on their hand. Oh, you got to play a thousand dollars for your contempt of court. Motherfucker, if it was any other person, we'd be in jail. I don't, I don't want to be the judge to put the president in prison. They get off the bench. Yeah, get off the bench if you have to have that double-tier system of thinking toward people. It's equal justice for all people. If he did those crimes, he should go to jail. If he's talking shit about the judge and the people in the courtroom, he should go to jail for contempt of court. Especially under a gag order. No, you either start doing what's supposed to be done or dismiss the case. This is stupid. Yeah, it is. It's really stupid He's at this done point. He's multiple cases, even. He too. did. He's violated gag orders several times. Insane. Gets away with it. He gets away with it. I'm sorry. This isn't right. He should be in jail. If all of us do the same things Trump do, we would be in jail. Why is he not in jail? Like... Even though I don't like Trump, he is actually doing a lot of good exposing these motherfuckers, I'll say that. And showing how corrupt this system is. But the problem is, he's corrupt as well. I hate it. I hate it. Why does all our leaders have to be corrupt? Why can't we get people in the office that are sincere, who have integrity, that are intelligent, smart, and do the will of the people? All this nonsense the government been doing for the last few years, not passing any bills in unless it provides for rich people, this has to stop, man. No one can get by anymore, man. They expose themselves, yeah. They do, and they... The secret is out. It's, like... I want... I... I civilians deserve a lot better than what we're getting. I'm angry at the government, to tell you the truth. And I've been for a very long time. The majority of my life, I've been angry at the government. doesn't matter if they're Democrat or Republican. They do awful things. Like, you got, like, I'll go, I'll go to Clinton, for instance. He's been, he, he's a, civilly, he's, he's, he's a rapist. He's a sexual assaulter. Um, he lied to the American people about getting his dick sucked. He's a trap. Oh my god. Human trap. And then, and then after, and then he just kept bombing Iraq whenever he went through a scandal just to distract the people from what he's doing behind the scene. And then, and then you have George Bush who just wanted to follow after daddy and he did such horrible deeds to people and then and then after that you ha you have obama and i don't want to say it but it's true he he really caused a really bad racial divide in this country I mean, I agree with awareness over 
um, issues involving African Americans, like systematic racism. I agree of putting awareness on systematic racism. What I don't agree is how Caucasian people have been so villainized by the African American community because Obama became president when the reality is Obama is both white and black. He's all of us. He's both of us. Why is there a racial divide? And I'm not particularly blaming Obama. It just like happened. I don't know if it was organic or administered by the George Soros group. I'm not quite sure, but something happened that caused a huge rift between the races. And, um, you know, I grew up in the nineties. We didn't, we didn't really have that problem back in the nineties. You know, you were black. Cool. Let's say now let's be friends. You're white. Cool. Let's say now go to the barbecue. Yeah. You know, that that's how it was in the nineties. We didn't care if you were white or black in the nineties. <laughs> we didn't care. We judge people on the content of the character, not by the color of their skin. And I'm noticing with my son's generation, they're really trying to break uh, systematic racism, and I'm proud of them for that. Because this racial divide stuff has to stop. Because we all bleed red. We're all this. We all come from Africa. <clears throat> cradle of civilization, really, that was... Yeah, white people freaking out about a black man being president. That's so stupid. <sighs> it's stupid, but there was a racial divide that happened, and it's really fucked up. Because we didn't have that in the 90s. Mm -hmm. We really didn't. No. It really is because they destroyed a beautiful culture that was growing and thriving amongst each other. You mm -hmm. know, we were very, the 90s was a very div diverse culture mm -hmm. at that time. Mm -hmm. Like, it was cool to hang out with a black person. It wasn't shunned. Why? 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 Because Obama became president and became this shunning thing. That's real weird. And then. And then the African American community realized this stuff and then they started pushing back. Mm -hmm. And it just it just caused this division when it's just so stupid because you're judging someone on their skin color. Mm -hmm. You know, some people have brown eyes, some people have green eyes, some people have blue eyes. Should we judge people on their eye color? <laughs> like, shit. Dumb as shit. I just, I just, I don't... And then you get Trump after Obama, and then he, he increased that racial divide <laughs> by supporting all these white nationalists. And I know I'm rolling my eyes because it's just that ridiculous to me and my brain. It is ridiculous. It, it is. Whew. Me? I don't have that problem. I never did. I never did. But guys, uh... I'm at that I'm going to pass out phase. I've been talking too much. I'm tired. It's almost 10. I'm going to go to bed. Thank you, everyone, for who supports me, who loves me. Thank you for everyone who supports Jason and giving him advice and supporting him 
mm-hmm. though he relapsed and not villainizing him for it. Mm-hmm. Thank you for that. Yeah, thank you. You guys have a good night. Thank you for listening to me all day. I know I've been a Gabby fuck, mm-hmm. but Thank I just you. felt like talking. Peace, Maranatha, guys.